Hey there, it's Elka. In this training, I'm going to cover this very cool feature that Zazzle has just introduced that relates to any text field that you are going to add to a product that the customer can customize. It's a significant change to how you have to design with text. As of now, you, the designer, must define the text area in which the customer can add their text. This is terrific for designs like this one that I'm showing you here with the invitation because I can define where the text that the customer adds will go to. That means in this particular design, for example, it won't run into the photo area. But what happens if I didn't give the customer enough space? So first off, if you've designed anything with a text field prior to August of 2019, then that text field is not limited by the boundaries that you set. However, anything that you've designed from August 2019 onwards, like this invitation for example, then it will be bounded by the text area that I created when I made the design. Let me give you an example. Click on here and I'm going to customize Mary Anderson. I'm going to give her a second last name. Because my text field was bounded by that area that I set, the text will now wrap around to the next line. I'm certainly happy that Smith didn't go into the area where the picture is, but I'm not happy that I didn't set the text area big enough so that a person with more letters in their name could add the text properly. What can you do about that? What you must do, first of all, is set the text area to the largest amount possible. That will be acceptable for customers to add their name. And if you find that certain designs are problematic, like this particular one, you might have to redo the designs and define the text area in a much better way. I'm going to check to see what my text boundary is so that I can decide whether or not I have to recreate this invitation. Now that I've clicked on the text, that's the issue, I realized that I could actually increase the size of the text field. Because there's more room to do that, I should definitely create a new invitation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to increase the text field size to here and also move it here so that it's centered so the person's name will easily center between the left and the right boundaries for this particular text field. I'm also going to get rid of the Smith because that was just for practice, but now because I've changed the boundaries, the boundary doesn't start right at the letter M, which is where it started before, and it doesn't end right at the end where it stopped before. Now I have a nicely defined text area that I can now allow the customer to put in a lot of text but still define it in such a way that the text doesn't move into the picture area. Let's check all the other text that the customer would have to fix. Again, I think I have enough room here to move things around a little bit and adjust and increase the size. And by using my guidelines so that I see that the text box is now centered, I can now let go of the sizing and be confident that the text will stay in the middle and be centered in addition to having it justified with the center option over here on the right hand side. As you can see, if I move this text box around, my centering is off, but now it's back on and the boundary for my text has been defined by this outside area. Now I know that if the customer needs more room, I have defined this area as the largest area that they can type in for this particular template field. Even though nothing has changed on the design, the text is still the same size, Mary Anderson is still in the same spot, the text fields where the boundaries are for where the customer can add text has been significantly altered. So the customer has the maximum area in which to type their information in. Now the customer can add a much larger name and still have everything look really, really nice. Obviously, if the name is extremely long, then I can't help that because it might still move to the next line. But by providing a sample name that's already quite long and then giving even extra room on either side for the name to expand to an even larger number of letters, I've done my best to create the optimal template for the customer to use for each one of my text templates. So there you have it. Now you can use this in every single one of your text fields. Remember, if it was done before August of 2019, everything is fine. Anything that you've done after that, check it out and see if there's an issue with your text fields. And if you feel like it's important to change it, then go ahead and make another copy. And if it's not one of your best sellers, then delete the old copy and use this new copy instead. It will be worth the effort to make the changes because in the end, you are here to serve the customer. And instead of the customer being frustrated, and abandon the cart, you will instead make the customer happy and they will proceed to the checkout. See you in the next training.